Hello, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving away a free print. I've got this fantastic A3 photo printed on Ilford Cotton Gold Smooth that I'm going to give away and ship for free anywhere in the world. All you've got to do is be a subscriber to my channel and tell me where this photo is from. And I'll give you a tip, it's in New Zealand. So a few weeks ago, I did a trip up to the far north of New Zealand to Tipaki Sand Dunes where there's humongous sand dunes, which is a really popular tourist spot because the people get bodyboards and they bodyboard down the sea faces, which to be fair in this, looks like a lot of fun. But you know, being a photographer, I don't want those tourists in my photos. So I had a good look around and what I ended up finding was really unexpected. I'm gonna take you there right now and take you on the journey with me. I'm just here at Tipaki, giant sand dunes in the far north of New Zealand and uh, I just thought I'd get on the camera quickly and just show you what I'm up to. So I'm just gonna go around and show you my little compositions that I've got planned. So this is my first one. As you can see, I'm in these giant sand dunes. I'll just go around so you can kind of see where I am. And I'm just in a bit of a dip here. And what I've discovered is these kind of pinnacle rocks that have just kind of had the, you know, the wind erosion that's come around them and just these exposed sandstone, I guess the sandstone, pinnacles. So this is the first one I'm thinking. <clears throat> As we go a bit more over here, it's kind of miniature versions. Pretty interesting with a worldly type detail, I guess you could, you could say. So I've got some, a bit more detail over here. And then there's some more minor little, little details here. It's quite cool. So this is the camera that I'm using. It's a Fuji X-T1. Old school, but still very capable. As you can see here, I've got a 16 to 55 lens. This is a wine country uh, camera filter holder system. It's very cool. It's got these kind of robust um, holders here and buttons. So the, the, the filters slide up and down and you can lock them in place. It's quite good if you've got gloves on if you're working in cold environments. And I, kind of, I quite like it because it's quite wide. Um, so you don't get any vignetting and the actual polarizer sits on the inside. And then if we come around the back, we have this kind of little rotator so you can rotate it. So I'm gonna be shooting with this. So these are the filters that I've got. These are format high tech Firecrest filters. And this is a, filter holder vault that comes from wine country camera it's quite cool you can hold it on the sides get you know protects protects your filter stops fingerprints so i've got a two stop and a three stop filter so i'm going to be using these today so as you can see behind me now the light is starting to change i'm going to go into the, the golden hour soon and we'll be shooting from the golden hour into dusk to get the best possible light plenty of compositions to work with so yeah, I'm going to run around and get these photos and then uh, we'll catch up at the end and I'll show you the pictures. So I think you'll agree with me, that was quite a unique place. I came away with seven photos there that I'm going to share with you now. Now the first photo is a photo that I really wanted to work, but in actual fact it didn't work out that well. The composition was weak, the contrast was quite poor, and even though it, the subject was quite interesting, overall it just didn't work. 
Now that's okay. Like I said, I took seven photos, so I've got six other photos to work with. The first photo was this photo. Now I really like this photo. It's very simple. It's got good foreground detail with the sand lines drawing you in. It's got some nice interesting shapes with the rocks on the little mound of sand and then these beautiful hues that surround it. And it's overall a very soft photo and very minimal and very arty and I, I kind of like it. And the second shot that I took was very similar, which is this one. And this is a, a very similar composition. It's just slightly different angled. And on the left, we have this little rock, which is quite interesting. You've got the bigger one on the right and this diagonal line that pulls you up and it draws you in to the negative space above it, which has again, the beautiful reflective light from the belt of Venus. Very strong, both of these very strong um, rule of thirds compositions. So the third shot that I took was this one. And as you can see from the video, there was these very interesting pinnacles all over. Um, and I just found them fascinating. So I went around with my camera and I tried to arrange them in compositions that I thought would work. And I got this one and it, I like it because it kind of zigzags your eye through and they're just interesting to look at. Um, and the fourth photo was a very similar photo, slightly different composition. Again, it's got interesting detail from these pinnacles. They're kind of arranged in a, a diagonal line from left to right, going horizontal up the photo. And you've got some nice contrast in the sky from the dark clouds and the purple hues and the soft sand. It all works really well together. So I really like those two photos. And the fifth photo is this one. Slightly different from the others. The rocks are slightly different. Again, it's a similar similar type of rock form, just, but just looks different. Um, the light at this point was, was really kind of reflective and there was some strong uh, pink hues. And that worked really well with the contrasting blue um, sky with the dark clouds and overall I think it works really well. Um, and the sticks photo was this one. And again, I, I think the composition wasn't the best on this one, but I just love the subjects in these pinnacles and to look at, it just looks like these layers and the layers have kind of fallen away over time and just created this mound around them. But it just leaves me wondering, what, what are they? How are they created? Why are they still there? And the light was exceptional at this point. Very soft, soft light. And I think the fact that you got this really soft light on the sand dunes with a, a bit of dark sky, I think it works really well. I think it kind of really pulls your eye in. And you got some details around the foreground with the sand pulling your eye in that way. So again, I think, I think it was a great photo. So overall, I think I've got some really good photos there. Um, I went there to take photos of sweeping sand dunes, you know, less curves and lines and soft details and contrast shadows. But what I ended up finding was completely different, which was a surprise. Overall, I'm really happy with how the photos turned out. So I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. That would be really great. And then also click the bell so you get the notifications. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.